Hey, what's up, family? Yeah, we're gonna be a short, very informative video on this one about opportunities, and that's gonna be the word of the day: opportunities. And what is an opportunity? Look up the word. It is a person who tries to exploit someone else and take advantage of circumstances. You know what I'm saying? So someone is trying to take advantage of an opportunity. That's why it's called opportunist. So be careful because that's what a lot of scam artists are. They're opportunists. They want to take advantage and exploit you for personal gain and advantage of a gain such as money or something like that. And what I'm going to be speaking on mostly is like Venmo. Be careful with that dog on Venmo. I know a lot of y'all out there are smart enough to know a scam when you see one, but everybody isn't, you know. Some people, unfortunately, falls for it. It's so sad. Let me just tell you about a story I have. So obviously, I'm, I'm selling my bike. I put it on the market for three grand. Watch this. Now, I got a whole bunch of nonsense. I'm going to give you one in particular because we'll be here all day talking about a whole bunch of other ones. Just watch this one here. I kept getting people saying, hey, look, I want to buy your bike. I can send you the money right now through Venmo. I was like, I already know this nonsense. I said, nah, I don't do Venmo. You know, it's like, nah, because I, I can send it to you. It'd be no problem. One in particular guy, after all these people, I kept saying no. But this one guy, he kept pushing, kept pushing. So he says, listen, I can send you the 3000 right now through Venmo. I said, nah, look, look, my man, you don't, you don't send money through the, mail, through, the, through the internet like that. I said, listen, I'm not a scam artist at all. I said, but you don't even know me, my man. I said, you don't know if I'm a scam artist or not. Not. You just talking about you're going to send me the money. This joker told me I ain't worried about losing that kind of money. It's no big deal to me. Even if you were selling for thirty five or 4000 I can send you the money Venmo right now. I said, nah, 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 nah. And it was a whole bunch of other things that didn't add up with his story, especially when you click on a personal profile. It's always these young cats with their middle finger up in the air, and they, they really don't got nothing on their profile. Probably a picture, one or two pictures here or there, picture of the sky, but they always got their middle finger up in the air. It's like nonsense, right? But anyway, so as, we, as I kept getting all these abundance of other people checking it, I was just getting overwhelmed, flooded with people wasting my dag on time. So now what I started doing, I said, look, I tell you what, for anyone that's serious that, that I did respond back to, I said, for the people that's serious, send me $300 cash app, and that will reserve your spot. Other than that, I said, I got too many people talking about they want to buy it, but most of you people just wasting my time. So that one particular guy that said he'll send me $3,000 Venmo right now, I told him, I said, look, I already got somebody else that's interested, even that person wound up being a waste of my time. But at the time, right? So I said, I'll tell you what we could do. I said, Send me $300 cash app. And I said, that way I know you serious. I said, you ain't got to worry about no scam. I don't run scams. You know what this joker told me? He said, yo, man, hold on a second, man. I ain't got no $300 to send me. I ain't got money to be wasting like that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. You just told me an hour ago that you could send me $3,000 right now, Venmo. When I told you I don't do Venmo, I said, just send me $300 to secure your spot, because I got so many people. He told me $300 too much money. He, he couldn't be wasting money. Now you, you tell me that ain't a scam. How you could just send me 3,000, but you can't send me 300? Cash App, because see, Cash App, you know, that, that's instant. See, what it, this is how a lot of that Venmo nonsense works. People will have stolen credit cards, and they will send you money Venmo. And by the time it get investigated, then they say, oh, you gotta send that money back it saw me kind of nonsense how it works. Now, through the investigation, days later, weeks later, whatever, that money has to be reimbursed back out of your good bank account. Or you know how people say, oh, I sent you money by mistake. Could you send me that money back? See, now when you send them that money back, because you're trying to be a good person, because that person is an opportunist. Remember, an opportunist, a person who exploits others to take advantage of circumstances. You know what I'm saying? So when you send that money back, that's your good money out of your bank account. And it may even give them access to your bank account. You know what I'm saying? But don't ever fall for that Venmo nonsense because people will come up with the most lamest excuses talking about, oh, yeah, I can send you X amount of money right now for, for that. You know, it, it's no problem. Most of the time, these people got stolen credit cards and they're going to send you that money only for now. Once you ship whatever whatever it is you're selling, once you ship it, they got your stuff already. And then later it's going to be said that that money you got was fraudulent. Don't fall for that Venmo stuff. Be more be more careful when selling your stuff. Um, uh, 
just be more careful when selling your stuff. There's so many types of scam artists, opportunists, people out there, and they're looking for suckers every day. Like they say, it's a sucker born every day. And don't let that be you. Peace. Oh, I just want to let you see. Bike starts right up with no problem. All the silly people out there, yo, is the bike good? Can we start right up? <laughs> And on that note,